There are far too many poisons, unfortunately, for us to tackle all of them in this Poisons Month. But I'm just going to touch briefly in our last Poisons video on a couple of um, poisons that are uh, kind of classified by use inappropriately in animals. And inappropriate use of things is a, is a really common way to end up with poisoning. So um, probably the first thing that we want to talk about is human medication. Now we get loads of calls here at the clinic or, or when I'm at the emergency centre um, about animals that have got into and eaten their owner's medication. And obviously we have to take each one of those uh, at a time on the different medications. But really what I want to talk about or what we see too often is when people give medication purposefully to animals because they think they're helping. And the classic one would be pain relief. So there are all kinds of anti-inflammatory pain relief tablets out there, both for animals and more specifically for people. And if you give those to your pets, especially cats, but to, to cats and dogs, rabbits, all sorts, then they can be fatal. They can shut down the liver, they can shut down the kidneys, they can cause anemia, all sorts of terrible things. And it doesn't take a lot. So for example, one tenth of a paracetamol tablet can be poisonous, fatally poisonous to a cat. Uh, and quite commonly people will phone up and go, I've just given this tablet this medication and wanted to check that it's okay. And by that point, it can be very difficult to do anything about it. So if you're ever thinking of giving any kind of medication at all to your pet, don't without at least phoning up, speaking to your veterinarian and finding out whether it's going to be safe. The second inappropriate poison that we see is quite a lot of the flea products that are out there contain a drug or type of product called permethrin. Now that drug is perfectly safe for dogs, but it's really, really toxic for cats. And what can happen is that some people buy like one small dog pipette of a, of a flea treatment and they split it between a couple of their cats thinking that that's going to be okay because it's a cheaper way to do it. But it really isn't. And, and just a few drops of a dog flea product can be fatal to cats. They call seizures and comas and death. And it can be very difficult to treat. There's no specific treatment. So make sure whenever you're using any kind of flea product that you Choose one that's appropriate to your animal. Make sure it's a cat one or a dog one and make sure that you get the right weight product. Make sure your animal is the right weight for that treatment. And the last area that I want to talk about is food. So giving inappropriate food to our pets. So all kinds of foods can be poisonous. So for example, if you give baby food to cats that aren't eating, there is onion in there that can cause anemia. But the main one that we're seeing more and more of across the country is xylitol poisoning. Now xylitol is an artificial sweetener and it's found in all sorts of products. So it's found in certain types of cake and biscuits that are designed to be lower calorie. It's also in things like chewing gum and in toothpaste. So make sure you check really carefully to see if there's any xylitol in these things before we give them to our pets. And xylitol is poisonous to dogs. And what happens is it kind of acts like insulin, the hormone in the body that's designed to lower your sugar level and it drives down the sugar level in the animal to a dangerous level, and it does that for, for many hours. And if your sugar level stays dangerously low, you can go into a seizure, you can go into a coma, and you can die. And it can be very difficult to treat. So I suppose the take home message is whatever we do for our pets, make sure it's appropriate, and always seek advice from a vet before you give anything you're not sure about.